Welcome once again to the Time in the Word broadcast. It's always an honor to spend these moments each week with you. If it's okay, I'd like to begin this week's broadcast with what I believe is a very important question for our time together here in the Word of God. Here's the question. Where is the place where you are the happiest? Where is the place where you are the happiest? Now, as I think about your responses, I can imagine the many varied responses that you could be giving. I'm thinking about somebody that maybe are responding that your favorite place and the happiest place is at home. I love my home as well. Others of you could be responding maybe that your favorite place is a place of vacation. It could be somewhere in in the world. Still others of you could be thinking about this and maybe in a negative way as because it stirred up something. Maybe you're saying this, there's really no favorite place that I have because there's no place I've been where I feel safe. Well, I want you to hear that I empathize with you today, but for me, there is a place above every place that I love. My favorite place is in the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. You ask why? Well, I love the people. I love the worship. I love the fellowship. I love the Word of God. And most of all, I love the Lord Jesus. Now, in our current series, as we're thinking about lessons for the end of the world in the book of Revelation, I've placed before you this lesson. It's our third lesson. Here it is. In times of tribulation, you and I need the church. Hear what the Bible says in Revelation chapter 3 and verse 8. Behold, Jesus says, I've set before you an open door which no one is able to shut. Do you realize that God promises in his word to bless the people of his church during times of not only good times, but difficult times? Here are a few of the many ways that God blesses his church and those in his church. We're blessed when we gather. We're blessed with encouragement and wisdom that come to our lives in the midst of good times and bad. In the church, We're challenged to turn away from sin and to walk in deeper fellowship with God. In the church, we find forgiveness. And talking to someone today, we find a second chance with God. In the church, we're pointed to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And lastly, in the church, we are reminded that Jesus is coming again and that we have only this day to do the mighty works of God. But here's the opposite side. Sadly enough, Many people have lost their love for the Lord and for his church. Why? Because they are doing life today alone. And I want to tell you this today. If you're not a part of a local church somewhere in the world, I suspect this, that your days are harder. You see, for me, I'd say this. If it had not been for the church, oh, my friend, I don't know where I'd be today. Now, if you haven't been to church in a while, it's time to get back. If you've never been to church, come and experience what I'm telling you today. There's no place like the church. Now, some of you might be saying this. Now, Keith, let's be honest. I've been to church, and I didn't get anything out of it. Well, here's a thought from the Word of God. Maybe you didn't know the leader of the church, the Lord Jesus. When Jesus is your Lord, you love to go to his house. And so I want to do this today. On this Time in the Word broadcast, I want to personally invite you to this house. Jackson First Baptist Church. One of the songs we sing here is, There's Joy in the House of the Lord. I want to encourage you to join us in the house on Sundays at either 9 a.m. or also at 11. Sunday evening, our college and young adult ministry meets at 5.30. There's there's community groups happening. Wednesday night begins at 6 o'clock. We'd love to have you. Check us out online at jacksonfbc.com. If you'd like to know more about our ministries, just reach out to me at at info at jacksonfbc.com. And I look forward to seeing you in the house this Lord's Day.